Hi everyone, it's Tiffany Johnson, and I hope you're ready to start up with AWS Startups, where we bring you the latest news and updates from the AWS Startups universe. We have lots of exciting news this week. First up, we're headed to Collision Conference in Toronto next week, where AWS Startups will be hosting 20 plus masterclasses dedicated to taking your startup to the next level. AWS CEO Adam Swilipsi will be in attendance to talk about the future of tech, and we'll be hosting a friendly rowing competition in our startup loft theater in partnership with one of the leaders in game-based fitness, Regatta. So be sure to stop by our booth at Collision Conference where there will be plenty to see, do, and learn. It's that time again. It's time to scale like Amazon. We're back with a new installment focusing on a product management deep dive. This virtual event is happening on July 19th. You can register at the link below. Hey founders, did you know that Falcon LLM on Amazon SageMaker is officially available for your use? It sure is. You can get data curation, optimization, performance, and more from the world's top ranking open source language model. So why is this important to startups? One, simplicity and cost efficiency. Two, fast time to market and flexible LLM. Learn more about Falcom LLM on Amazon SageMaker at the link below. We're excited to tell you about our cool new Twitch show called Let's Build a Startup, hosted by our UK IR Startup Solutions Architect team at AWS every Thursday live at 10 a.m. BST. The team gives founders tips on how to build your MVP quickly and cost effectively on AWS. So set your alarms because that's information you don't want to miss. Finally, we are put in the spotlight on our read of the week. This startup is revolutionizing healthcare with artificial intelligence by using AI to diagnose drug-resistant tuberculosis. It's a must-read. We hope you're excited about all this good news as we are. Remember to stop by and say hi at the Collision Conference, and don't forget to start up in the AWS Cloud.